hustling back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed. I'm doing blessed and highly favored and definitely hope the same for you. And if this is your first time stopping by my channel, much love to you and welcome into my returning subs, my growing extended beautiful family. Just thank you so much um, for being able to, you know, dive deep, you know, educating yourself on your self-discovery, being able to walk down these journeys, even though it can be you know, trying at times, knowing that you're never giving up. So with that being said, much love to all. Namaste, love and blessings, love and light, and many blessings are definitely coming your way. And if you have been watching my videos for a while and have not already, please like and subscribe. Even hit that notification bell at the bottom so you know when I'm about to upload my next video. Also, if you are comfortable enough, please drop me a line or two. I love the chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me, even if it's about the positive feedback of the content of my video or you're just up telling me about your empathic gift and how it impacted your life and heading you towards a positive direction. Also, if you feel like the video is giving you good vibes or good information you would love to share with a loved one, family, or friend, or even a fellow empath that are going through some really trying times right now at the moment, trying to find their soul path or even, you know, where they belong or if they're on the right path, please share. And while you're at it, give me a thumbs up, like, and also share on your social media favorites wherever you see fit. Thank you so much for the love and support. It's so greatly appreciated. And I hope you're able to resonate with the content of my video. And today, I haven't used this in like about a month. I've seen where I dropped a comment on this uh this uh link and it's called 639 hertz love peace and miracles heal heart chakra pure positive energy and i will post that link in the description box below and if uh oh yeah i already said that already i don't know why i'm about to do my little outro again intro again <laughs> and my video is about twin flame 101 Hey, Oka's preparing for uh, pre ugh, preparing yourself for change. We are. Oh, excuse me. It's just like a lot of y'all have been dropping me comments. And I'm just like congratulating y'all because I am truly happy when I love when y'all can tell me, Rosalyn, you know, I'm dancing out in the rain. Or Rosalyn, you know, I feel the, you know, the past is coming up, but I'm allowing it to shift and, you know, keep moving. Or you're finding that more more strength in you that you weren't really able to do before that you're finally being in one with yourself and you know having all these beautiful experiences i'm just so up i mean it, it just like it makes me feel good it really does you know because i love to see people excelling i love to see people growing and vibing towards themselves because i know it's hard to do at times you know especially you know if you not understand why you're you're acting the way you're acting why do things come towards you the way they come towards you because that's a lot to deal with like i've told people before you know um when i first started my spiritual awakening i didn't have nobody guiding me the way they, you know like, like i'm doing now you know i had to look up different videos uh, i was looking at um ralph smart uh what's his name victor odd or something i forgot his name jason dodry dodry or aaron dodry there are so many different people I was looking at that was a blessing to me. There are so many more uh, I can think of, but I haven't been on there. You know, even Doreen Virtue, she's helped me out in a lot of ways. And that's a blessing because it's like, you know, spirit. my spirit guides allowed me to gravitate towards these, you know, allowing myself to see what I was going through, um, seeing the things that, you know, what I was. You know different dreams that i had like before i found out i was a hayoka i used to constantly have native american you know dreams like seeing them doing the you know the rain dances and i used to always love to see that and there's sometimes i would cry because i thought it was so beautiful with them and their head pieces you know the feathers and the beautiful colors and knowing the patterns was speaking a story telling a story you know all these different things you know because i used to live in oklahoma so i used to see a lot of the the native uh the native tribes come out and stuff like that and you know my mom was close friends to a lot of them because my brother was uh married to a uh i think she was chief cherokee or something like that uh chief you know cherokees uh her father or whatever and it was um you know so we got got ready to you know i used to hear all the history and stuff that they talked about and it was just so beautiful and never knew you know 30 some years later to find out you know i was part of this you know this strong empath tribe so it's just a beautiful thing to be able to educate others about that because it was like i didn't find 
too many videos out about Hayokas. Um, I found some that they were talking about the native land, the history, why did they do these things, what are their gatherings, who they were, you know, what they were affiliated with the tribes, the, the Lakota tribe, and, you know, the, all these different things that I was finding out about myself, which I thought was so beautiful. So it was just like my mind was soaking up all this knowledge, knowledge like a sponge. And being able to know I was manifesting and changing myself for things that, you know, you wouldn't, some average people wouldn't be able to comprehend. Being able to make videos and allowing people to know, you know, the things we go through is natural for us as empaths. You know, if somebody's in that sleep state, they're going to be looking at us like we're crazy. You know, it's just like trying to explain something. I've, I've even talked to some of my people. I say, you when you try to talk to somebody in that sleep state about the things that we endured, they ain't going to know what the heck we talking about. And they're going to be probably thinking, okay, they done lost their last mind. I'm like, no, you, you have to wake up. Because I was like that. I was around people that were awake. And I thought the same thing that they were thinking. I'm like, what the heck are they talking about? And I'm like, I'm trying to figure out. I'm like, you know what? You need to go, you know, on the weekend in, in the, you know, in the, 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 the crazy floor or the hospital or something like that, you know, and it's just like now when I finally see the things, you know, I'm able to see because it was like when I spoke of it as a child, my mom, you know, she was an empath as well. You know, my mom had that beautiful chocolate skin, but had eyes like a wolf. You know, and it was just like, you, I knew there was something very special about my mom, because especially she bend them glasses down. It's like a lot of people are like, ooh, you know, especially my kids like, ooh, grandma's eyes are scary. You know, and I said, no, they're not, because it's like when you see them, for her, she has that Morris Chestnut, Wesley Snipes complexion. And then you see my mom's eyes, she has those eyes like, you know, sky blue. You know, so you wouldn't expect, you know, I remember when she passed away, they asked me if I can donate her eyes to science. I said, the hell you say? My mom always said she going to come. She going to leave this earth like she came here. So you leave her eyeballs alone. You were like, they never seen an African-American like that. I'm like, no, <laughs> you know, that's just weird. Don't even ask me that. But it is just like all the things I knew just as a child. You know, I was able to speak on things like that. I was even, you know, I, I, I laugh at the conversations that me and my, my real dad had. And he was just like, oh boy, oh boy, <laughs> oh boy. Because <laughs> he already knew he was very outspoken, but a lot of people didn't get him. But just to know that you done passed that down to your, your child, you know, is amazing. So it, it's just like all these different things that I was, you know, I knew I wanted to do in life. I wanted to be able to see a lot of people in love. Uh, be happy you know it's just like you I love seeing through a child's mind like that it's just like if you want to have a good conversation go talk to a child because they see everything is beautiful you know it's kind of naive to them and it's a scary sense because they don't see the bad in certain situations but it's like with me as in growing up there are certain people I wouldn't want to be around and it's just like when I started now I'm starting to notice like when I was growing up a lot of times when I would be around my doctor father, I would always snatch away from him. I would go hug my mom, but go snatch away from him, you know, and I never knew why. <laughs> now I know, I'm like, now I know why. So all those different things is happening, you know, that's happening into your life, that, the things you're manifesting, the things that you're calling upon, you know, you're, you're talking to the Holy Creator, you're talking to the source, you know, um, if you you know you're 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 a pagan or whatever you're probably talking to hecate and all those different things that um that you can pray upon you know and it's just like you're you're opening yourself up to be open-minded towards things you probably if you weren't already opened up as well being open-minded is more a gate now it's just like now we're getting so many downloads so many upgrades uh shifting from here to there you know uh portal jumping all these different things, you know, like I told y'all about a few months ago, it's just like the energy y'all have is, is, is very beautiful, <laughs> but it's like very powerful. And some of us are not capable to even comprehend how much energy you have. And it's just like when you can be able to know how powerful you are and can be able to accept that gift is amazing you know i'm just now starting to accept mine as well because it's like when i can look come back and look at some of my videos it's like before i wasn't able to you know make like flash in front of my computer like that it just depends on you know my my energy is all wild and crazy and i just got a massive download 
it's like sometimes you know you'll see the there's like a, a flash of light just come <laughs> I was like oh <laughs> you know shadows you start seeing shadows uh like right now you see that but it's like that's my fan going but it's just like sometimes in front of me you know my energy is really crazy you'll see lights they'll come towards uh the front of my screen you know all these different things I wasn't able to do before you know I wasn't you know confident about my gift didn't know you know how far I will allow myself to even go do with these videos knowing if I had what it took to do the things that I do and it's just like the the comments that that has dropped towards me and came across my way y'all have sent that validation towards me a lot of people are just like oh is she just ranting or is she what is she doing I say obviously you know my man, my mind's all over the place I jump from one thing to another you got to be able to keep up you know, I say you got to be able to keep up, you know, if you can't, you know, you trying to slow down or whatever, just wind the thing back and then just come back, you know, but a lot of y'all get me, you know, some people might, I mean, it's okay, you know, some people do, but it's just a blessing to be able to make these videos, like I said, you know, I say this a lot, because it's just the fact is when I start seeing the capability of y'all and the energy that you, you carry along with you, it's just a beautiful blessing to be able to know I've started a community where there's no judgment here. You know, I allow you to speak your mind as long as you're not disrespecting me, you're not dis disrespecting anybody in the community. Hey, it's all gravy. You can be able to say the things that you want, just, you know, keep it tasteful, you know, and you are able to say the things that you need to say. You know, racial slurs, you know, I don't deal with those. Uh, but it, it's just a beautiful thing that we're changing for the positive. You know, even though sometimes this journey might seem scary because you don't know what's coming around the corner, you you know, you have good things coming because there might be those days where you can be caught off guard with a burst of excitement. You don't know where that's coming from, but that's just your energy allowing your higher self to let you know, hey, you're doing good. Hey, you're gravitating towards that milestone that you felt so hard to get over. See, the things that you, you know, feel like you were going to heal from, look at you you're gradually healing from it you know you got that little voice that is giving you you know even though somebody might not congratulate you you're like well dad i'm doing good you know congratulate yourself <laughs> and congratulate yourself and know that the angels and the spirit guys are over there cheering you on like yes we're so happy for you you're getting it you know you might have hit that finish line you thought it was going to be a big party or whatever but it's okay it's okay, even though you might not get it in a physical sense, you, I guarantee you, you're getting it a thousand times, ten, in that spiritual sense. So allow yourself to do the things that you need to do. Heal the way you need to heal. Educate the way you need to help. educate. Cut from the things that you need to go part ways with. Don't ask questions. If, if they send you those little visions in your eyes and they're telling you, I mean, they're visions in your mind. They're allowed, telling you, showing you those special spotlights on certain people that you need to cut cords from. Do that. And, you know, and just keep going, you know, it's a painful thing to do, but, you know, a lot of people that are in your, you know, in your circle could be holding you back. So allow yourself to be able to cut ties. You know, they were there to serve their purpose. You were there in their life to serve their purpose. You know, there's a lot of things. Sometimes what's not said is understood. <laughs> so, you know, but I hope you are able to resonate with the content of my video. Congratulations to all my, my empaths. I love y'all so much for my brothers and sisters all around the world. It's so greatly appreciated. Because um, we're going to heal from the things that I've, I've been placed upon us. Grant that. Uh, I'm giving a post notification shout out to uh, Miguel. And um, let me see who else. Julie Carey. Uh, Morphic Crystal, much love to you. I'm so glad you finally dropped me a line. I haven't, you know, if you heard, if I heard from you, I, I know I probably haven't heard from you in a while, but I'm glad you had uh, dropped the line to me. With Inspectancy and Season Treasures, Treasure Seasons, my, my bad, did a hey open thing, did it backwards for, you know. But anyways, like and subscribe, drop me a line, let me know if it, you know, you uh, resonate with this video I would love to hear your opinion you know have you been getting the visions and knowing that you know you're manifesting something to go to the next chapter and you know many congratulations to y'all and I pray for your journey that it continues to stay blessed and you get the answers that you need to receive and I will see you on my next video know you are truly blessed highly favored forever loved and knowing there's always somebody out there praying for you better days much love peace be wild well.